What was all that screaming? Oh, help! No worries here! All part of the process, I assure you! <laughs> I'm certain these are the caves mentioned in the letter. Use the spirit whistle here. What was that? It came from inside. Can he be dead? This wasn't supposed to happen. None of this was supposed to happen. I don't know. I was supposed to meet Captain Agron, but as I passed the caves, I heard a cry. I ran in to find him bleeding out. He died before I could ask what happened. Agron was a fine man. He didn't deserve this fate. This is unacceptable. No, I didn't. You two need to leave. Stop investigating this. Gather your assistant, pack your things, and get out of Blackreach. This is getting far too dangerous, and I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Please, we're wasting time. Just go! We need to talk. I feel Overseer Erlvar knows more than he told us. The last thing we should do is heed his advice to quit now. That I do not know. But he seems to be increasingly agitated as we continue to investigate. I may deal in spirits more often than I deal with the living, but I know when I'm being led by the nose. He's hiding something. Let's find out what. Captain Agaron's wounds are fresh, which means the culprit can't have gone far. We didn't see anything on our way in, so whatever attacked him must have leapt through the other side of the cave. We should see if we can pick up its trail. Come, it can't have gone far. Look, whatever killed Captain Agaron must have triggered one of our traps. There's footprints! Curious. Spirits don't use trap doors. Cannot afford to be seen.
a strange mist. Follow it. It's Erlbar. Stay low. Bruick, killing Captain Agron was not part of our deal. I am a vampire, Erlvar. I have needs. I made that clear when you hired me. I hired you to protect my people. This was not what we agreed. You've taken it too far. Who are you to reprimand me? You haven't seen too far. Just wait. It's all beginning to make sense. Overseer Erlvar employed a vampire to protect the mine. How dastardly. I believe that explains the missing miners quite succinctly. He must have given the vampire people in exchange for protection for the rest of his workers. But from what, I wonder? Not yet. Despite our ingenious detective work, right now it's still the Overseer's word against ours. And he's already given El reason to distrust us. What we need is definitive proof, then she'll have to listen. I believe the Overseer's office is just across the mine. We should investigate. Of course, we have to find a way in first. Perhaps you could pick the lock, or steal his key. I'm somewhat out of my element now. Excellent. You are truly the purveyor of justice Phoebe made you out to be. Just be careful. If we manage to get ourselves caught, we won't get the chance to prove anything. What did you find? That look on your face. Tell me you found something. And explains what he was trying to protect his people from. It is not enough to simply turn this evidence over to El. I was hired to help this town. Spirits or no, I have a responsibility. We must stop this horror. The vampire seemed as though he was threatening Overseer Erlvar at the end of their altercation. Perhaps he's planning some kind of retaliation. 
If so, there's a chance we could catch him in the act if we find him. We need to investigate the mines. There has to be a clue that will point us in the direction of that monster. Let's leave here. Dusktown needs us. This has to be the vampire's doing. I bet he didn't stop at one. Look for more. The vampire. Follow him, but stay out of sight. We have to stop him. Curse him. We'll never be able to catch him like this. How do we apprehend a man who can vanish into thin air right before our eyes? Vampires do not obey the same laws as specters and ghosts. My tools would be useless against him. Unless... Phoebe's whistle. Do you still have it? It's designed to emit a tone that's unsavory to immortal creatures. Perhaps it will disturb him. It's impossible to say without evidence. But it wasn't made specifically with spirits in mind, so there is a chance. Go on, try it. This is the only plan we've got. trail. Come, he's not getting away. You'll die like all the rest.
We have our proof. Let us return to Dusktown. Fighters killed now. Keep out of the deal. This is ridiculous. You can't waltz in here and accuse me of such a thing. My husband would never do something so insane. I don't suppose you have any proof. Proof? What proof could they possibly have? Your associates accuse my husband of outrageous actions. Making deals with monsters? Murder? I hope you have a damn good reason. Let me see that. Donors? But I don't understand. You can't mean... Erlvar was feeding innocent miners to a vampire in order to keep everyone safe? How could this happen? How could I not have known? These were my people! The fact that he realized he was in over his head doesn't excuse the abhorrent decision in the first place. This is sickening. We both want to protect our people, but to think he'd resort to something so barbaric. You're right. We would have been left to wonder and kept losing people were it not for you and those two over there. Just tell me one thing. Did you kill the vampire responsible? Good. Good. At least there's that. Erlvar, you foolish man, what have you done? Another case solved. Though we weren't dealing in spirits today, I have no doubt you'd make a fine ghost hunter. You have a natural talent for investigation. El has my sympathy. It is not easy to condemn someone you love. She is strong. She will be fine. Anyway, it was an honor to work with you. If you ever find yourself tangled in the world of spirits again, I do hope you'll seek us out. Here, take this for your time. You undoubtedly deserve it. You know, I think Phoebe looks up to you. You've become a point of inspiration for her. I know we both hope our paths cross again. Perhaps, I still sense dark energies here. This place writhes with uneasy spirits. Overseer Erlvar was the culprit this time, but with him removed, perhaps the true spiritual mysteries of Blackreach will unravel themselves. Happiness is not something I often associate with my line of work. Dealing with the dead is often a somber affair, but dealing with the living can be too, I suppose. I am merely satisfied with our end result. I hope our two ghost hunters won't judge me too harshly for being a thorn in their side. Without them looking into this, Erlvar would never have been exposed. I gave them a hard time, but they never gave up on Dusktown. I owe them. I'm not giving up on this venture. Bitterblade Mining Consortium doesn't need Erlvar, and neither do I. Now that we know what we're dealing with, we can take more reasonable measures to keep people safe. We're not sacrificing anyone else. Maybe, but we can take precautions. It won't be perfect, but it's a lot better than giving up innocent people. Erlvar thought that was the only way to save Dusktown, but he was desperate, and he panicked. I won't make the same mistake. I only did what I thought was necessary. I had no choice. We couldn't stop the attacks ourselves. We would have kept losing people if I hadn't made a deal with him. At least working with Bruick allowed me to control our losses. Losing one worker a week instead of five felt worth it. No. I thought I had him in the palm of my hand. I provided him with a steady supply of blood, and I mistakenly thought that meant he relied on our working arrangement. He showed me the error of my ways. Now I'm paying the price for it.
I did what was needed. You should be thanking me. Earlvar, you fool. Go bother someone else, Holker. If I don't finish this by the end of my shift, the Overseer will have my hide. <laughs> what do I look like? The town crier? If the Overseer wanted us to be observant, he wouldn't have blindfolded us when he brought us here. You weren't? Hmm. Up to this point, the Overseer and his wife have been extra careful about keeping the exact location of this mine and the mining town a secret. What makes you special, I wonder? Well, I haven't seen anyone like that. Now pick up a shovel and help me or hork off. I can't afford to lose this job. You must be new to Dusk Town. You've still got that look. Well, get settled in. You won't be allowed topside again until you complete your contract. So you might as well get comfortable. A prisoner? No. Why would you think that? But we did sign a contract. Promised to stay until the work was done and never breathe a word. Otherwise, being a bonded miner with the Bitterblade Mining Consortium is a lucrative opportunity. <laughs> Can't say that I have. And I haven't seen any ghosts or monsters either, come to think of it. Even though the rest of the town can't stop talking about them. Anyway, welcome aboard, and good mining. Oh, don't let the rumors scare you. Miners are a superstitious lot. And being this far underground can play havoc with your senses. If you need to know anything else about Dust Town or working for the Bitterblade Mining Consortium, just ask. You mean those fools setting up their ghost traps? They're harmless. And if they make the superstitious miners feel better, I'm all right with that. Ellen Overseer Erlvar have been nothing but fair and honest with all of us. El Bitterblade. She owns the consortium. Erlvar's her husband and our overseer. They built Dusk Town to support their claim. They're savvy business folk. Secretive, but that goes with the territory when you break a new mine. What a curious question. This whole place was tailor-made for undesirables. Tunnels, sunken barrows, dwarven ruins, lots of secluded spots. But don't worry. We're the only ones down here. Elves' precautions make sure of that. Same as most of us, I reckon. I saw a posting in a tavern, talked to an agent, signed some papers, and here I am. Well, after they blindfolded me and walked me all over snow and creation. The work is hard, but the wages are excellent. What a waste of time. These people have no clue as to what's going on down here. I wonder if being stupid was part of their service contract. Did you turn up anything? Just because no one saw him doesn't mean he wasn't here. Let's talk to Fen before we start turning this place inside out. Maybe he's had better luck. Right. Skulking in the shadows. Lead the way. I'm right behind you. Just in time. I spotted the vampire with the eye patch. He met with the coven witch who immediately ordered her lackeys to place witch pikes around the area. With arcane phenomena, anything's possible. If we hurry, we can stop this Harrowstone before it causes any damage. You and Lyris should split up. We need to destroy all of the witch pikes. I'll track the Queen's assassin and the coven witch. You focus on stopping the Harrowstorm. I'll find you after that, and we'll confront the Vampire and the Witch together. Move. You take the east side, I'll take the west. Then meet in the middle.
You stopped the Harrowstone before it could even get started. Now to deal with the vampire and the witch. Well done, my friend. Before the witch could even begin her ritual, I saw the magicka disappear like the flame of a snuff candle. The witch and the vampire assassin fled to Cogginthams, a dwarven ruin. We can deal with them in there. Time is of the essence. You get to the ruin, I'll find Lyris and we'll meet you there. It's southeast of Dusktown. If you get there before us, go inside and guard the entrance until we arrive. <laughs>